Um, do we care about Sarah Palin? I just like I'm just like holding back we until we watch Master Chef. You know what I mean? I'm so ready to watch Master Chef, but let's we'll Ask watch Jeff. we'll watch one or two more of this. Bezos and Warren Buffett, three of the richest men in the world, and yet it's very likely that you pay more tax as a proportion of your earnings than they do. In fact, Warren Buffett once said this. But I'm paying about the same percentage of my income to the federal government as my secretary does. Leaked tax. <laughs> you Leaked wish. Rot. You wish, dog. I know he said that like as a... <laughs> no, that's not true. Oh my God. Can you imagine? That would be a utopia, okay? It would be literally a utopian society where like... You know that meme of like, oh, if Hassan wasn't banned for saying the C word, and then it's like that fucking meme of, you know, like people, spaceships flying around and shit like that. You know? It's like society, if billionaires paid the same percentage of the That's revenue they generate as like the average American worker. Straight up, dude. We would be going to the fucking moon and back. Oh my lord, dude. Uh, this image. Yes. Society of billionaires pay the same percentage uh, uh, as their as their like overall uh, revenue that they've generated, overall wealth that they've created that year, as like the average worker. Bro, that's bananas, dude. Think about that. Unless maybe her secretary is just like a gross tax evader or something, but like it's crazy. Billionaires pay like zero point. <laughs> billionaires pay like one percent. Okay, one percent. And because they make billions and billions and billions of dollars, or specifically trillions, if you compare, like if you if you compile all of the uh, wealth that they have earned uh, over the course of the past year, over the course of the pandemic, five months. Okay. Street, homie. Obviously, that one percent translates to a fuckload of money. I get that. Okay. However, however, the reality is. The earnings, man. Earnings. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Earnings. Earnings. I don't mean earn like as in they actually f earned sure it. Shut right up. Not. Shut your stupid mouth. I'm talking about wealth uh, generation. Okay. Shut up. Shut up. Uh, wealth accumulation. Fuck. You know what I mean. Buffett probably pays the most 20% on capital gains when he sells stock. His secretary pays more than that. Lol. In a 2007 interview, Buffett explained that he took a survey of his employees and compared their tax rates to his. All told, he found that while he paid a total tax rate of 17.7%, doubt it. That's 2007, and even then, I doubt it. Tax returns analyzed by ProPublica found that Jeff Bezos paid no federal income tax in 2007 yeah, of course. and 2011, while Elon Musk didn't I'm pay so any income tax okay. in 2018. The rich have it different than the rest of us. They make their money holding assets, capital, and we tax capital very lightly. So why do the ultra wealthy pay so little tax as a proportion of their wealth? Because they have the infinite money glitch, baby. Let's go. You already know. We've talked about this a million times over, okay? They have a literal endless sea of money that they can get at like insane rates by just straight up calling up a bank and going give me some money here are all my assets and then the bank is like oh my god if you let me if you let me hold on to some of your money in the future with the promise that like i could maybe facilitate a merger or whatever for you i will literally give you the lowest interest rate you could ever see no interest rate Fuck it i'll pay you to take money out of my bank, okay? and it doesn't matter you buy borrow die buy borrow die that's it baby all your assets are in your stock options all of your assets are in your uh in, in the stock market all your wealth is in the stock market then you can just take out money for free instead of paying the government money okay in the form of taxes you end up paying the bank interests and usually not even any interest whatsoever or in some instances the bank pays you so great system that we've designed and why can't politicians seem to do anything about it People like Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos didn't become the two richest people on the planet by being paid a salary. Instead, they like to be compensated in the form of shares in the companies that they run. 
Shares though are very different to a salary. You only pay tax, capital gains tax, when you sell shares. The top tax rate on capital gains is 20%. By contrast, wages, salaries, bonuses are taxed at 37%. And that's just the start of the benefits. Many billionaires follow a mantra called buy, borrow, die when it comes to tax. Has the simple has idea has is- I love how you're complaining and talking about this, yet you stream on Twitch and give money to Amazon. Brilliant take. Guys, do you feel owned? I feel destroyed. Instead, I should be yelling at the street to three people that walk past me. Uh, maybe even uh, hang out with the black Israelites outside of the metro station. So I can do my own ethical way of uh, informing people. Brilliant. Insightful. You f on me. Please give me more of that. I love it. Fuck. Fuck yes, that's delicious. It's that capital gains tax only applies when you sell shares. So simply don't sell them. Ever. A key part of the, the buy, borrow, die so strategy. Don't ban him. Actually try to debunk him so people who think like him shut the fuck up. But I just did. But the unfortunate reality is a lot of people are very stupid. So, we're, one, we're pausing the video to debunk something that is, first of all, in bad faith and completely idiotic that has been debunked a million times over. And uh, two, I already did debunk it, but you didn't comprehend that I was debunking it. And I didn't even ban that person for the record because I have fun with idiots like that. That's like a fun thing at this point. Okay? You can criticize capitalism while existing under capitalism you're mad because you know you're part of the problem totally you got me i am so mad less than three. i am so mad you know why i'm mad because i haven't created my cooperatively owned amazon web services or, or amazon cloud uh not uh, a web service that doesn't even utilize like amazon uh, amazon software amazon's oh. Uh, web hosting uh, uh, facilities, none of that. I haven't been able to do that on my own. Okay. Yeah. Like that's that's what it is. That that's the that's the argument. The argument is like build your own f shit. Okay. Debunk him calling you a shill, and it's such a it's such an idiotic argument that we have addressed a million times over that it's usually easier to just ban him and move on. But since you asked, Chatter, it is a completely unreasonable and completely idiotic and counterproductive sentiment to express. There is no alternative. And the only reason why that person is here instead of like, I don't know, yelling at someone else is because it's successful. What I'm doing is successful. So successful that it pisses that person off. Okay. Is trying to, uh, to consume potentially without uh, having to unlock a lot of cash American or liquidity that is mostly reinvested into, sad. you know, a business. But there is an intrinsic problem with this strategy, because if you're not being paid a salary and you're not actually selling the shares that you own, how do you find the money to buy yachts and private islands? Well, that's where the borrow part of the strategy comes in. You simply borrow money using your shares as collateral. Elon Musk can borrow money from a bank, say, and use that borrowed money to buy whatever billionaires buy. And a borrowing in our system is not a taxable event. And it gets even better than that, because if you borrow money from the bank, you may even be eligible for tax breaks. And then there's the final part of the strategy, the kicker. When they pass away, they can then go ahead and bequeath it to an heir who uh, does not pay tax when that uh, asset is given to them. In the US, we call that uh, the step up in basis. Almost everywhere, schemes like this are being used by the uber wealthy to avoid paying tax, all perfectly legal. In the US, Joe Biden tried to torpedo the die part of the buy, borrow, die strategy. But the president's push simply didn't get the support it needed in Congress. Another idea to tax a person's net wealth annually didn't make it either. Most scholars believe a wealth tax is questionable under our constitution, which limits the ability uh, to tax property directly. 
And that's why many tech billionaires who have made a fortune during the pandemic may well pay a lower tax rate than you do. And the chances of that changing anytime soon are pretty minimal. Now, at the end of the day, uh, the billionaires, uh, I think, will win. The framework of, of our huh. income tax... Y you think? <laughs> rules will not be changed in any fundamental fashion isn't this the estate tax shit people were throwing a fit about like two years ago yes motherfuckers that make like 60 grand a year were like the government's coming after my funds brother when i die it's like no bitch you're poor okay you're gonna die poor dumbass it has nothing to do with you it has nothing to do with you shut the fuck up shut up shut up people People buy their first, like, 1998 Honda Civic and think, like, man, I got capital, dude. Yo, all you broke boys, you know, get your fucking money up. It's like, no, dude, you're getting fucked, okay? You are getting fucked by the system. And then you yell at someone like me, okay? You come in here and you fucking type in this chat. And be like, yo, the guy telling you that the system is broken and explaining to you why it's broken is actually the real piece of shit. Please, please, go ahead. Do you think we should have more borrowing restrictions or unrealized capital gains taxes? Both, dude. Both. I think we should have borrowing restrictions and unrealized capital gains tax. 1,000%. I personally believe we should have, like, a team of quants, okay? Sitting around. Bring, like, literally the processing power of, like, every mega computer brained dickhead together to consistently uh, uh, value the total assets that people have at the top, okay? If you're in the stock market and you've made, I don't know, you have like $10 million in assets or whatever the f you should always have, you should always have people constantly and consistently looking at your, f in, uh, looking at your, your, your revenue that you're generating, your net earnings, your net uh, earnings after a year, okay? And then, Figure out a way in a similar capacity to an estate tax to tax that, okay, with a small percentage. Warren Buffet is a fatty. If you take a loan based on your shares in a company, you should pay unrealized gains tax. Yeah, people say unrealized gains like property taxes. Yeah, no you shit, you tax that too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, we already have this system. We already have this system in place called property taxes some places even straight up uh see how much uh your 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 property value has increased and then tax you on that okay thank you Hussein. i made it 11 percent on the stock market if i have 5 million that's 550k instead i made 300 bucks yeah but you felt like a king right you felt like you made a million dollars right because that's how most people do that can you talk about Every philanthropists? No, I don't care. Well I, I don't good. care about like the millionaire billionaire PR grift, okay? Anyway. Oh, they did deliver my Oh, they did deliver my daily sandwich. I just deliver sandwiches though. Damn, dude. Check the logs for a tasty treat. We thought that yo it's CN didn't actually deliver my daily sandwich today, and we were worried that he wasn't around. But it turns out he did. Thank God. Hassle, no, no hassle, tipping. Hassle. I can't tip him, dude. Look. No tip required as it was included in the delivery fee. That's what... Do you see that? He doesn't want tips, dude. He's saying it's in the delivery fee. <laughs> it's so cute. I'm sorry. My favorite chatter. Okay, let's keep going. All right, all right, come on. Let's watch AOC and, and, and Sarah Palin talk about AOC and sex talk. Uh, it amazes me, though, her and other liberals, uh, socialists even, their ability to deflect from what the issues truly are and hear her obsession with at least suggestions of them. Always oh, gender and sex even. It, um, uh, you know, I, I truly believe that there are enough Americans who get it and understand uh, what her tactic is, and that is to deflect from what the real issues are. But uh, 
yeah, okay, take this issue though with her suggestion of dating and, um, and you know, attraction to someone and uh, blame. Oh shit. Um, I, I got noticed that uh, Croger, Croger, all the times they talk about apparently 8,000 grocery workers in Croger in Colorado are uh, going on strike starting tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. I don't want to be horny anymore. I just want to be happy. Oh, it's true. I do feel that way. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>